I crawled up from underneath my rock and installed iTerm 2 last night and just, you know, getting started with it, but this is going to be a sort of first impressions uh, podcast or screencast rather on this. Um, I saw a friend zipping around on it and I thought, you know, I should check that out. So the first thing I wanted to figure out was how could I create groups, you know, window groups where I can automatically open up all the little terminals I want for a project. And I fell on this guy, Chris Schmidt's uh, blog, and he has a article, Develop Faster with iTerm Profiles and Window Arrangements. And he basically goes over creating profiles, which are a per-terminal setup, and then using those profiles to create window arrangements, what, which was what I was after. So let's look at how you do that. So here you can see I've actually created some profiles. Um, what you do, uh, let's just go ahead and um, create a new one. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to copy this stuff. And we'll just call this uh, sauce2. And then I want to run this command when I get to this directory. So um, it's actually going to type this command uh, before I CD over here. But that's okay because it uh, it's sort of like if you type too fast and um, <clears throat> and the command will still issue after I've CD'd. So let's actually test this now. So we now have this sauce two profile. If I click this, it's going to open it up in a new tab, and you can see it's typed out my command, um, but it still happens after um, I get to the directory. Now I'm in a place where I don't have a a connection so you're not going to see any output because um, uh, it's trying to create a reverse proxy and getting confused because uh, eventually it would spit out an error message but I'm going to just uh, control C out of that um, in any event I do have my um, I do have my profile that I want and I created another profile for working on my key codes and um, let me delete this temporary one that I just showed you and this simply goes to the directory where my key codes are. So I, this is going to be a simple uh, grouping. I just want two terminals. I want one that takes me to key codes um, so I can you know, list out my project and whatnot, and another that fires up this uh, Java jar. Maybe not the greatest example, but just uh, uh, <clears throat> something um, that I might want to do from scratch. And I'll show you a slightly more complicated looking one um, after that. So I've got these two profiles now. What I need to do um, is I'll first just simply go to the key codes and close out this old tab. And then from here I will hit Command, Option, Alt, Shift, and then H for horizontal, or I'm sorry, V. I want a vertical split. And that'll open up this uh, profile selection screen. And on this one, I want to fire off that Java jar command for sauce labs. So that's going to split. I'm going to actually make this full size. <clears throat> so great. So now I have my one terminal where I can interact with my project and whatnot. And then over here, I've got this uh, 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 jar running. So I might want other things, you know, I could I could um, open up some more stuff if I wanted. I don't know, um, maybe I want to tell the PHP error log, doesn't really apply in this situation. But let's say I open that up, that doesn't really look too great. Um, I think I want these stacked horizontally. I could have now I could have said control option shift H. I did control option shift V. But even after the fact, it's kind of neat. I can go in here and drag the title bar and get it to configure the way I want it. So here's it you could see that uh, it's saying unknown host sauce labs because I'm not connected right now. But this would have fired off my reverse proxy and this would be tailing some logs. And then here's my um, Here's my uh, main project directory. So I actually don't want this guy. So I'm um, 
I'm pretty satisfied just with these two. And now all I need to do is do window, uh, save window arrangement, or just uh, command shift S. And this is going to be my key codes project. And I'll probably decide I want to add other terminals as well. And I'll just add them and resave. If you save by the same name, it'll simply ask if you want to overwrite. Um, so you can see there's the key codes. If I, for some reason, had added another terminal, I just save again and, and overwrite it. So um, that's pretty cool. A um, couple of things I can use command um, square brackets left and right to zip around between these. I can use command enter to take it into distraction free mode. And then again, command enter to get out. If I do command shift enter, the currently highlighted or active terminal will take the whole screen. And it's just a toggle. So most of these commands are just toggles. And that's pretty cool. Um, you could probably do a lot of this stuff in terminal app, but the, the killer feature for me was the way I can drag this window around and it stays sort of docked together or grouped together. And a lot of times you're maybe using a second monitor and you get called into a meeting and you unplug that monitor and then you have before you do so you have to like drag your windows over and all that stuff. This just sort of circumnavigates all that junk. Um, so like I said, this is sort of a first impressions for me. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll have some more intelligent stuff to say uh, in future vids on this. But there it is, iTerm2, first impressions.